What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And today we're bringing another top five for you. Today we're doing top five buck knives. And this one definitely takes me back to why I got into knives and uh, why I got into collecting knives and, and owning knives. I mean, it, it, picking the knives out for this segment uh, really reminded me of uh, a lot of my childhood and the knives that I used growing up. So this one was really cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know you're not going to agree with everything that I put on here, but that's not what it's about. What it's about is talking about knives. So let's get right to it. Before we do, though, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos and talk about knives like this right here. Now, without further ado, let's light it up and don't get repossessed. So, top five, and yes, I was able to keep it to five buck knives. Now, that being said, there are some of these that are going to represent families of knives, and you'll know what I'm talking about when we get to that. You probably already do, actually. Um, but I picked out top five buck knives. Um, really excited about these because... <clears throat> Some of these are top five, like as far as classics, most popular, most iconic. Some of these are top five as far as new knives. So, <clears throat> it, it just like with the other segments that we've done this with, um, top Spider Co., uh, top Benchmade, all of that. You're going to see some of these that are um, most popular. Some of these that are you know higher in sales. Some of these are ones that we have trouble keeping in stock. So, um, let's dive right in. First up. And this is going to be one of those that is, um, I guess, one of the more popular ones uh, as far as the newer knives from Buck. Um, and that's going to be the Sprint. I've got it right here. That thing is really cool and uh, really, really dig this knife. Um, really like the ergonomics on it. Now let's take a look at this one up close right here. The ergonomics on this knife are just really fantastic and um, the thing that I really like about Buck and um, it's one of those things it's across the board with all of their stuff they offer so many different variants of each individual knife and I love that because it not only brings it into different price points so you're bringing it to a bigger market um, you're making it more available to more people but it's also bringing it to everyone that has different preferences on things like blade steel and handle material. So this one, for instance, uh, we've got the Sprint in, we've got it in carbon fiber handles, we've got it in uh, G10 handles, we've got it in this one, which is the brown burlap micarta, and um, we've got them in different blade steels. This one in particular is in S30V. Um, so this one's coming in at $114.99. This is the Buck 841 Sprint Pro. Um, and now the specs on this one, it's a 3.125 inch s3v stainless steel drop point blade um with that satin finish right there and this thing is absolutely gorgeous and like i said as far as ergonomics goes this thing feels incredible of course with the boss heat treat uh, buck does a really great job with that now this one's coming in it's 4.375 inches close seven and a half inches overall and weighs in at just 3.2 ounces. So super lightweight for a nice full-size EDC. I love the gold backspacer right there. And I also love how the pocket clip is made so that it is attached on the backside here. Really dig this knife. It is a liner lock. And like I said, I really like that you can get different versions of this knife based on what kind of handle material, what kind of blade material you're looking for. Uh, so this one in particular coming in at $114.99. Um, really dig that sprint right there. Up next, and this one's going to be another one that represents a group of knives, um, albeit a smaller group than most of these, but it's one of the most popular ones that we've had in the last, I would say, couple of years. And we can't keep this thing in stock. It has been insanely popular, and I really dig its design, and that's the Paradigm. This one is the Shift Automatic. 
Now, let's take a look at that one up close right there. Look at that grind work. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful with that swedge up top. Love it. And, and this is another one that I love the ergonomics on. I, I think they've done a phenomenal job with it. This one is the auto. We've also got this one in an assisted flipper version, um, which operates really cool, very interestingly. So this is kind of... It, it's It's difficult to call this... A bolster lock it's difficult to call this a button lock um, it, it, it's it's very unique and so I'm gonna show you exactly how this actually works they call it a bolster lock technically I guess you could say it is but also technically you could say it's not so the way this works and I'm gonna go ahead and close it and we're gonna show this to you up close here so right here you'll see what looks like the button on an out the side button, you know, button actuated automatic. Um, but it's actually technically underneath the bolster here. Uh, so it's hidden. And you'll notice that whenever you slide this bolster out, it pushes that button in and allows that blade to be released right there. Then when you release it, it comes back out and locks that blade in place. So it's like a button lock, but the bolster itself is what actually actuates the button. And a fantastic action right there. So we've also got this one, like I said, in an assisted flipper. It operates much the same, except it does have a flipper on it. And the way you would actually operate it is you would actually push the bolster to the side, flip it, and then the bolster would come back and lock it into place. So this one as an auto, and I'll give you a better vantage point right here showing exactly how this operates. But all we're going to do is we're going to pull this bolster up right here. And that it's that simple. You just pull that bolster up just like that. And it's got nice uh, little grooves right there that really catch and make it really easy. Now this one's coming in with S35VN on the blade steel, again with the Boss Heat Treat. Um, again, great ergonomics on this one. Love, again, that the uh, pocket clip is actually attached on the pommel right there. I think that's fantastic, making it reversible on this knife. And absolutely love this knife. Now this one's coming in at $209.99. Uh, you can get the uh, flip version um, for about, I think, $189.99. It's going to be somewhere in there. So a little bit less expensive on the, uh, on the flipper version, a little bit more um, because a little bit more goes into the automatic version. But we've also got them in black, both versions in black, as well as this tan version. And I think that's really cool. That's been, that's been an insanely popular knife right there. And I just I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to add this to my collection for uh, a little over a year now, and I haven't yet. Haven't pulled the trigger. Haven't pulled the bolster. Pushed the bolster, but maybe one day. So, up next, third on our list is going to be, and I called this. I, I decided to make this. Originally, it was going to be one specific knife, um, but I decided to make this a family. Um, because I, I couldn't pick out one specific knife in this family. And that's going to be the Buck 300 series, traditional slip joints. Um, and actually, it just so happens that we are sold out of quite a few of these. And I wanted to kind of show uh, one from my collection from when I was a kid. So this one is actually the Buck 310. Uh, they don't make that one anymore. They make one similar. It's the Buck 303. Um, we've also got like the 371. We've got a ton of them in the 300 series, and they are insanely popular. Let's take a look at that up close right there. Now, this one, like I said, is the 310 model. Uh, I got this one a long, long time ago. But we've got like the 371, which is a wood grain stockman. Um, we've got the 303. Um, so a ton of different knives in this series, um, and they're phenomenally popular. Uh, the 382, the Trapper, um, 
we've got the 379, the solo wood. Um, it's single blade. We've also got the 373 wood gra wood grain trio, and they're all coming in at around twenty to twenty five bucks, and super affordable. Um, great little slip joints. This one in particular, and I got to show this off, and uh, I've shown this before, uh, but this one in particular was signed by Chuck Buck um, back in the mid '90s. I bought this knife, I believe, in somewhere around '96. Uh, 95, 96, and Chuck Buck happened to be here at the store and uh, had him engrave the blade for me. Uh, and just that's a special knife to me right there. I carried it a little bit when I was a kid. I don't anymore um, for obvious reasons, um, but just a very special knife right there. Like I said, this is the 310 that they don't make anymore, but they still make this 300 series um, in various blade configurations they've got the solo blade the stockman all that stuff so um that 300 series is definitely one of the most popular and we are actually sold out of most of our 300 series knives we've got a few of them in stock right now the wood ones and stuff like that um but these synthetic ones uh sell out super quick just because of how durable they are and how affordable they are and uh, i mean it just all of that combined makes them a phenomenal value uh, for an everyday carry slip joint right there. So we've got three down, and I'm sure you're noticing that there are some pretty iconic buck knives that aren't on this list yet, and there's only two spots left. <laughs> Am I triggering some of you yet? I hope I have. <laughs> so up next is going to be, uh, for sure, the traditional lockback and uh this one is the uh, buck 112 i decided to make this one representative of not only the 112 but the 110 as well um because they are basically the same knife just different sizes so um buck 110 buck 112 and these knives are so iconic and they come in so many different variations now ranging all the way from the uh, polymer handles um, that are around 20 bucks, all the way up to um, the special editions and the ultra premiums that are around $300 and everywhere in between. Now, this one here, I opted to go with the classic to show it off here because this is absolutely the classic that everyone knows and loves. Ebony wood handles right here, um, the brass bolsters and liners right there. 440 on the uh, on the blade steel right there this one actually has the uh, buck 50 50th anniversary stamp right there and uh let's let's take a look at this one and go over the specs of this one right here uh, this thing is absolutely beautiful so this is the buck 112 um now like i said you can get like the tribute vintage tribute ranger um for like 359.99 um, we've also got this one in an auto version. We've got the 110 in an auto version. Uh, like I said, also, we've got them with the polymer handles. We've got them with the G10 handles. We've got them in the micarta handles. This one in particular, though, is coming in at $59.99, um, 420 high carbon stainless steel blade, clip point, and that's that traditional clip point blade uh, that we're all familiar with thinking about when it comes to clip point blades. This is the one that comes to just about everybody's mind. I know it does mine. It's 4.25 inches closed, weighs 5.6 ounces, and uh, made right here in the USA on this one. And absolutely love that knife. It's still one of the most ergonomic knives. Um, and the 110 and 112 are... Uh, some of the most iconic knives ever made. And some, like, when these were made, when these were developed and created years ago by Buck, um, these were highly touted as being some of the strongest folding knives ever made because of that lockback design and uh, really paved the way for different lock types um, being created because people wanted that security um, and really liked these as hunting knives. Now, this one comes with the leather sheath as well. And like I said, that one comes in at $59.99. And they come in all kinds of different configurations. But you can't have a list of top five buck knives without including the 110 and 112. You just can't. And so rest easy. I put the 112 and 110 on this list. Now, there's one more slot. 
What does that go to? What do you think it is? For me, it's a no-brainer. For me, it's an absolute no-brainer um, because this is the knife that everyone knows as the quintessential hunting knife of all time. And it is the one that everyone knows and loves. And that's going to be, and this one, again, is representative of two knives, the 119 and the 120. Uh, this one in particular is the 119, and this is the traditional 119. And again, this one comes in different variations. We've got the special edition tributes. Uh, we've got the classic here. So it's just, you know, pick your flavor. But 119 and 120 has to round out this list of top buck knives. Let's take a look at that one up close. And again, beautiful grind work, beautiful swedge on top right there, gorgeous clip point or buoy blade. Um, just absolutely love this thing. Now, this one in particular is coming in at $69.99. This is with the uh, phenolic handle. Um, we've also got the 119 Special Pro fixed blade for $199. That's the special edition with the micarta handles um, and the upgraded blade steel. This one is coming in with a 420HC high carbon stainless steel blade, 6 inches. Um, it is one eighth of an inch thick. Uh, features the nickel silver guard, pommel, and backspacers. It's ten and a half inches overall and weighs in at just seven and a half ounces. Comes with the leather sheath, and uh, I mean that's just that's an absolute classic right there. That's what, like, as kids, that's what we all carried when we went hunting, fishing. This was the knife that did it all uh, when we were outdoors. This was the out ultimate outdoorsman's knife. Um, for me anyways, growing up as a kid, this was immediately what my mind went to. And you absolutely cannot have a top five buck knives video without including the 119 and 120. And this thing's absolutely beautiful. Uh, absolutely love this one. So let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this list. If, is there something that you would have rather seen on this list? Would you trade out one of these five? for something else and put it on this top five list, let us know in the comments down below. That's what we like to read. That's what we like to see. Also, let us know what brand you want us to do Top Knives next. So let us know all that in the comments down below. As always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts like a buck, then we carry it and don't scream. What's that? And, you know, I think I'm going to do this really weird. I'm, I think I'm going to do this just to poke and prod at people. I think I'm going to leave these two out until the very end. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> those the end. Did I tell you about my friend that forgot to pay his exorcist? No, you didn't. He got repossessed. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. All right. What? <laughs> ah, whole new meaning to repo. I had a hair tie on my arm that entire time. wonder if I'll get Carl out for that.